All right, y'all. Hi. I'm gonna do something a little different, a little more realistic on this channel. For those that are new, hi, my name is Latressa. On here, I'm Mother Tressa, and I offer pretty much spiritual service, life advice, life coach, if you will. But um, I'm cooking right now. And I just keep having these random thoughts pop into my mind. So I figure why not just turn the camera on so you guys get to see me in a more intimate, comfortable space. Not that I'm not when I'm reading on the channel, but definitely see me like more so in my element off camera and pretty much just witnessing me talking to myself. Like if you like this idea for a direction that the channel can go in, definitely give me a thumbs up, comment about it, make other suggestions for ways that it can improve like I'm open to feedback because you are utilizing your time right like this is an energetic exchange so um, if there are within reason if there are things that you guys want to see then obviously leave a suggestion and I'm open to it but we're getting in it right now I'm making some uh, shrimp fettuccine alfredo pasta I had some leftover shrimp so I figure it's a quick thing to make and eat because lately I've been in the mood where I'm just not interested in food. Like, I don't want to really eat anything. But I know that I have to in order, you know, to have sustenance and to remain healthy. I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, but yeah. Before turning the camera on, I was just mindlessly thinking about a lot of things. Like... really more so from the conversation I was having with my cousin today and just wanting to figure out what our niches are so that we can more comfortably navigate through like space life you know like being able to find something that we're so passionate about that of course we generate income from and then can live a comfortable life right to where work isn't your life but until that happens you know we're all just out here just trying shit most failing right now you might be in a failing phase i feel like right now i'm in a plateau phase like nothing's really progressing but i'm not declining really um Unless you're just talking about like analytics specifically on this channel, then yeah. But just overall in general, everything else that I have going in life and where I am, which I'm so grateful for, and all that I am able to do, like in the additional resources that I have right now, um, as far as cash, cash flow is concerned and what I can spend it on, like not doing bad, you know, so I have to be grateful. But at the same time, it's just you can't help but wonder like when that opportunity for you will come. I don't know. There's just so many people that I know that are supportive of me, how creative and quirky I am, uh, my pursuits that I often try to delve myself into for overall like better self-development, um, but just for just other opportunities, right? To be able to really, um, <laughs> Like that song said, I was listening to in the car with my boyfriend the other day. Let your light shine by the Asley Brothers, you know, because you're a superstar. Like there is something that you have to offer to the world that's, you know, greater than even you can probably conceptualize for yourself, like greater than you can fathom. There's purpose. It's just whether or not you want to go through the process of figuring out what that purpose is, because it's painful. Like you really come to face yourself and you might oftentimes like be doubting yourself like, damn, like. I feel like I'm talented, but am I really talented or am I delusional and do I actually suck and people are just trying to applaud me because they commend me for the courage that it took, but it's really not going anywhere. Or is there something great here that really can be tapped and molded into something that's just beautiful? And what is it? And like, where is it? And how do I start? And who am I supposed to be connecting with so that I can get there? So that not only myself is straight, but for those of you that like are kind of selfless people, uh, that's one of the main attributes about you that people maybe uh, compliment you on or just that's the compliment you get when others are asked to describe you type of thing then you want money for more than just you like you want it for your lineage um, especially 
minorities, people of color, people that are at a disadvantage in regards to how the overall patriarchal system that we live under uh, runs, you know? We just, we don't fit into the mold of society type of thing. So it's a lot harder for us to be able to stick with something that we don't agree with because there's another way, you know, like why get comfortable in something that has been working, but only for a select few, you know what I mean? Like everybody's not profiting. So obviously we, we need to make some adjustments. Like it's one thing if you want to be like a powerhouse country to be able to have resources and opportunities that other disadvantaged uh, countries may have just as far as their overall level of advancement. I mean, we all advance just different at different rates, but compared to other impoverished countries because there are obviously are some and a lot of that has to do with how greedy america has been you know um we we play a part but just thinking about like how it's really not benefiting everybody when it could when it could like when the start of coronavirus happened y'all and you saw the news, maybe you didn't, but there was news coverage about how the transportation system, pretty much aviation, airplanes, were being bailed out of the economic hit that they took, which was what, like billions, if not trillions of dollars? I don't remember the exact amount, so don't quote me. But if this intrigues you, that just means that this is the start of you, you know, seeking out knowledge for yourself, which is never bad to do. Always question everything. Um, but they got bailed out billions, if not trillions of dollars, regardless with how many people we have in America, we all could have been born with a piece of that. You know, we, we all could have had an opportunity to really live a great established life. Now, whatever individual choices you make to either increase or deplete your resources, that's on you. But at the end of the day, why not try in a system like that? We could really kill shit. Like more people would want to be in this country, if not of the country like to be able to do something like that for the community that lives on that land you know just but stop stopping here just doesn't make any sense because there are so many people that are suffering that just don't have to at the end of the day it could be a lot easier said than done you know because at the end of the day not everybody's going to care to i guess multiply their resources to the point that they are notarized billionaires and or trillionaires you know or millionaires or whatever you know there are some people that just truly want to be artists or artisans not really sell their work for profit but has enough to still get by at the end of the day like why are we paying to drink water that's available outdoors we're paying for the process of somebody else pretty much just filtering the water to the point that is drinkable I don't know. It's like just a lot of things that you think about. But at the end of the day, it's like you want to figure out something so that if you find yourself in a place where you're uncomfortable or, you know, like if you had just if a damn tornado were to come through your home, like you're fucked saving wise as far as being able to um, make the proper repairs or like a medical scare that puts you in the hospital for like two months. Do you have that money? Like that's who I'm generally talking about. Right. And the people that just are looking for like their niche, their purpose. But it's like, you know that you're doing it for more than just you, right? And it's not just proving a point. Though, the acknowledgement of your presence is nice. And the validation of uh, conf like knowing that you had something greater to offer to the world. But like, essentially, you want to make sure that those that come after you, so long as your lineage should be able to exist on this plane, should be set up, you know, should have something to look forward to, have like a jump start to where their focus can really be put on themselves and self-development. Like we be a different country. Could you imagine some shit like that? But the thing is, it's not hard. You just have to get enough people to agree that this system's not working and be brave enough to try something new. And something new might not work, but then there are like a billion other possibilities for what can really make an economy run efficiency efficiently um while having longevity too being sustaining right but people just it boggles me it just boggles my mind
how people are comfortable living like this or just want to accept it because that is how it is. But obviously, as also seen with the presidency, we're not making any improvements, advancements, whatever you want to call it, forward as a society. If anything, we're stagnating. Like, we are in the same spot. <laughs> Um, so why does that work then? Why, why go through all the trouble of having a president? When we know good and well, the president is sponsored by other individuals, corporations, the like, and just depending on how much they actually contributed to the overall, uh, what do you want to call that? What is the name for it? The, it escapes me, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Like the, the whole process itself then obviously that president, that person is going to owe something unto them. Like the contribution isn't for nothing. There's an exchange with everything, right? So just imagine what it is that they promised those individuals that they have to handle first. And you sitting here thinking that they finna eradicate school debt and or they finna really heavily consider, you know, as having free health care. So I guess this kind of answers the question that I had and just seemed better for this country. But um, like they owe those people and it's going to take time for those plans to go into effect. But at the end of the day, with having a president, they're only in office for four terms before having to be reelected. Like wh whoever thought of presidency as a concept, why didn't they think about the president serving until the president no longer wants to serve? Or just depending on how great and or bad the economy is making those adjustments. But it should be like a life term type of thing like having that type of position, no? Because I feel like you would be able to see more things go into effect and get done as opposed to every four years, you're just now seeing the start of what got implemented at the beginning, right, of the election and their just overall presidency and whether or not that's doing anything for you and having to decide if you wanna, you know, start over or keep the same nigga. But it never really gets better because there are too many things that have to be fixed I wish there was a way to just like erase everything and we just start fresh. I mean, I'm sure there is a way to do it, but. Do people want to do this? Mm. Mm. But yeah, that's just what I've been thinking about y'all. Some of the things that come to mind, just trying to figure out what my niche is. Cause I know I'm passionate about the things that I provide on this space. Um, I don't feel like I'm fully utilizing it or implementing my psychology degree or my neuroscience background. So I'll, I need to do that more. But I really feel like they go hand in hand with astrology. And so I'm very passionate about seeing where this can still go. Just trying to figure out, again, the way that things get done on this space. That just, you yeah, know, trying to figure it out. And I've also been thinking about all the ways that hopefully I wash my hands in between eating that noodle because I just realized like I have these shrimp here that are still waiting to be cooked please oh my god I've never done that <laughs> oh my god I mean I eat ceviche and that's pretty much raw seafood so hopefully we're good in that situation y'all but damn okay that almost killed everything but I've just been thinking about that and also just been thinking about the way that I think about things. Like I overanalyze to the point that it's just not even fun anymore. Like for me or anybody that could possibly be involved and in. I'm tired of living in that constant state of assuming something is going to happen or just playing these different scenarios in my mind of a certain situation. They're often more negative than positive. Like I need to switch that in my brain um because i know I, my highest self knows right when i'm really in flow and i'm just i'm just walking in my light and my truth i understand that we only have control over ourselves okay at the end of the day like we have boundaries if not we learn through painful circumstances to establish them. Sometimes in the beginning, we go overboard and in just how we establish them with people. So it could come up a, a lot more harsh and or aggressive than intended. 
but once you get the hang of saying no and or having boundaries and learning when to walk away when something just no longer feels right for you and stepping back and or stepping away doesn't mean it has to be a permanent thing either right but when you do that then you really get to see right um by taking the emotion out of it and that's the thing too being able to detach a lot faster from things and outcomes but when you're able to do that you can see the situation for what it is and whether or not it's actually healthy because sometimes we become so involved with what we're doing that we are disillusioned by it right we're in a delusional state of just how well and or poor and or mediocre a situation can be going but then you step out of it give yourself a few minutes a few hours a few days and then you're able to analyze okay just how well it's done but like these be situations i'd be thinking about that just have literally a point zero 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 one percent chance of happening and so i just have to let go of what I see things being like, maybe. I was trying to find the words, y'all. I was trying to find the words. But maybe that's, maybe, maybe, I don't know. There's a lot to unpack, okay? I feel like I didn't become this analytical until I got into the last situation that I was in about a year and some change ago that had like a three year on off duration without saying too much, child, but safe to say things didn't work out I don't think in anybody's favor but it's weird because I feel like I don't know what version of me I like better <laughs> like I would I feel like I really was fine before but maybe I just needed to learn the lesson of really analyzing things before committing myself to them a little bit more being a little bit more cautious because I am more so on the impulsive side uh, for those that really don't know me well which are a lot of you um, we're, we're in the thousands now which is crazy I really just hope to get everybody back or just you know have that sense of community and or uh, kinship through like the comment section but yeah, like I used to really be on the impulsive side, but at the same time, it's like, damn, like there are many different ways that I could have also earned, learned the lesson of needing to be a little bit more analytical, right? Without having it affect almost every decision I make. So that's what I am currently working on, you guys, little update. I'm gonna stop this and restart it so if you see me in the same clothes in a minute and this is two separate uploads that i'm going to do on the channel which i most likely will because it's already at 18 minutes then uh yeah just follow me to that next video if you like this and you just kind of want to delve more into just random thoughts that have come to mind or just what i'm personally processing through so that you guys can understand how human i also am um, while we grow through this thing called life and whatever experiences I already have had and or am having, I can share, uh, drop those gems and also learn from those that um, are more seasoned. I will say that. So yeah, I'm gonna stop this, finish cooking, eat, and then hop on and I'm gonna get ready because I have to go to work in a little bit. So um, yeah. Just wanted to chop it up with you guys let you know where i'm at right now uh if this if you really like this video though like this video if you want more content like this um while also mixing in astrology psychology neuroscience types of things um then yeah like this video and let me know in the comment section i i appreciate any feedback that you guys have at this point again because i'm trying to figure out um if this this space can be salvaged and if so the type of things that i will be providing on a space like this a platform to where it's enjoyable for people that are actually watching so this along with general readings along with maybe doing shout out videos so just depending on your level of engagement that's something i've been considering like uh shouting somebody out your business idea um however i can make it work to where i'm actually helping people too on this channel in other ways if you don't need that spiritual advice you kind of just need some marketing or uh, like focus group type of things from so 
open to that potentially um but yeah <laughs> i keep trying to end this video it's been like three minutes now um let me know in the comment section if this is something that you want uh as a mixture of the videos that i offer um i'm going to in a few days if not tomorrow upload a video talking about the mars placement in astrology kind of touched on it on my get ready with me that i uploaded a few days ago so if you haven't seen that one also check that video out but yeah dang i lost my train of thought it was about what did i put on there oh yeah i touched on mars placement in that video and so if you want to see how you react to people just depending on your Mars placement, that will be a video that you can watch. Um, if you're interested in learning more about astrology and tarot and all of those things, that's going to be that type of video that I'm going to upload um, really soon. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and share this with other friends and family that might enjoy my content um, and or that might need to hear something that I brought up in this video <laughs> wouldn't be a coincidence if you come across this and this was a conversation you recently had or something similar I haven't looked at the transits for the day yet but I have a feeling that mercury is heavily involved in um, just how deep people are probably going within themselves and also in conversations that they have with others at this time I want to say mercury is in Scorpios it might be in Scorpio um, so no surprise there but yes um i'll see you if i see you in the comment section and if i don't just take care of yourself until you see my face again and or happen to scroll by my face <laughs> um but yeah you guys take care